Hi kids, welcome back to Ocean Exploration. I hope you enjoyed the video last week learning about the tides of Rhode Island and getting to explore some moon jellyfish. Special shout out to Aria and Rihanna for filling out the KWL chart. They both said they wanted to learn about ocean animals. So today we will focus on crustaceans like hermit crabs and gastropods, uh, periwinkle snails. So we'll be taking a, another journey into the ocean. This is Newport, this is the cliff walk. And our second video will take place at Bonnet Shores, which is in Narragansett, Rhode Island. So make sure you comment on anything you'd like to learn more about. See you soon. Narragansett Bay is part of the Atlantic Ocean. It's home to many marine animals, such as seals, whales, turtles, and even a few sharks. There are also fish, such as flounder, bluefish, and striped bass. Today we're headed to Bonnet Shores to a tide pool to focus on creatures that are a little bit smaller than those. We're headed to a tide pool. A tide pool is when the tide goes out at low tide and leaves little pools of warmer water where animals and crustaceans love to thrive. Here you see a hermit crab. Hermit crabs live in the salt water, specifically the salt water here at Bonnet Shores. It was hard to get them on camera. This tide pool is full of periwinkles and hermit crabs. Periwinkles are in the gastropod family and hermit crabs are in the crustacean family. Some small creatures spend their entire lives in tide pools, guarding them as their home and even laying eggs in them. Let's get a little closer so we can actually examine some of these creatures. If you lift rocks, you can often, often find different types of crabs. You have to be careful though, because you don't want to disrupt their environment too much. Here, I've found some shells with no animals left in them yet. So let's keep hunting. I spy hermit crabs. Did you know hermit crabs can live up to 40 years old? Hermit crabs are omnivorous scavengers, meaning they eat anything. They'll eat algae, dead pieces that are in the ocean, mussels. Check out my crab collection. Crabs have an exoskeleton which protects their body. Male crabs fight over female crabs and hiding holes. Here I'm trying to pick up a crab to show you guys a little closer. There's a hermit crab. You have to be very careful when handling these types of crustaceans because you don't want to hurt them but I did want you guys to get a closer look. Hermit crabs sometimes have to leave their shell and find a new shell. When they get too big for their shell, they search and try to find an empty shell. They line up from biggest to smallest and try to see which shell fits them, just like when you buy new shoes. Here I'm trying to pick up another hermit crab, but they sure move fast. This is a periwinkle or a sea snail. They actually are herbivores. They eat algae. There's tons of them in this tide pool. Periwinkles are interesting because other fish and things like hermit crabs like to eat them. So it's like a big food chain. Here's another hermit crab. Oops, there he goes. If you look closely here, you can see a bigger crab. He kind of blends in, but you can see him skirting by. He uses that blending in to help him survive. This is another periwinkle located on a rock. That's where they like to live and you can see some insects walking around there too. Periwinkles have gills and also antenna. Some people actually eat the periwinkles and call them winkles. They eat them live, but I think I'll pass on that one. I hope you enjoyed exploring the tide pool of Bonnet Shores Beach. Next week is Shark Week, so we'll focus on the great white sharks in Cape Cod and in Rhode Island. I'll teach you all about sharks and where to find them. Please make sure to fill out the playlist for this week. Bye.